So, I've always had weird relationships, okay? But my weirdest has to be the one that I've had with antivirus software. Either it's way too bloated and slows everything down, or it feels like it's doing nothing but sending me notifications about files I downloaded on purpose. And let's not even talk about those programs that pop up every five minutes asking for more money. That said, I kept hearing about Total AV, especially the fact that it comes with a VPN and a bunch of cleanup tools. So I figured I'd finally give it a proper test and see if it's actually worth the hype or just another slick ad campaign. Now, before we get into it, if you guys wanna try out Total AV at any point throughout or after the video, check out the description below and you can find yourselves the best current deal for Total AV. So keep that in mind as we go. Okay, so let's start with the setup, all right? So it did take me a bit, but you know, 1.5 gigs isn't exactly light. However, once it was installed, it didn't feel like a heavyweight. The interface is clean, no awkward menus or overwhelming dashboards. It's one of those things where you don't need a tech background to figure out what's going on, which is appreciated right away. Now, the first thing I did was try to break it. Not literally, but I uploaded some known malware samples and waited to see what would happen. It caught most of them, missed one that turned out to be a harmless test file, and didn't throw any false positives, which is honestly more important to me than a perfect detection score. I've had antivirus programs flag downloaded game files before and wipe them out without asking. So having something that actually understands what's dangerous and what isn't is fantastic. What really made me pay attention though was how smooth everything ran in the background even while doing a full scan which took about 20 minutes for roughly 65 gigabytes of data i could still use my browser edit videos and watch youtube without my system begging for air a lot of antivirus programs promised low impact but total av actually delivered on that front now it didn't learn from the first scan and sped up the second run which was a bit of a letdown but it wasn't a huge issue now here's where things get interesting the built-in vpn normally antivirus bundles throw in a vpn as a marketing gimmick, it's there, but you're better off pretending it isn't. This one's powered by Winscribe, which already has a solid reputation, and I tested it across multiple locations. Speeds were more than decent for casual browsing and streaming, and it got around geoblocks like Netflix without throwing uh, a tantrum. Upload speeds took a hit, but that's kind of expected with VPNs. If you're not trying to upload massive files all day, you'll be fine. There's also a web shield feature that's supposed to block sketchy sites and phishing links. It does a decent job, though I disabled safe search after a while because it kept flagging sites I visit regularly. The rest of the protective features work quietly in the background, which is all I really want. Keep me safe, don't get in the way, we're gonna have a great relationship that way. As far as pricing goes, the free version is just a teaser. It scans for threats, sure, but there's no real-time protection or actual defense if something nasty shows up. The paid plan is, of course, where the action is. I went with their $39 option because it came with the VPN and covered multiple devices, which made sense since I'm working on both a laptop and a phone. If I had to recommend any of them, it would definitely be that one. It's the best balance between features and pricing. What I did notice was the occasional pop-up trying to upsell me on features I already had or didn't want. It's not terrible, but it's already there. Also, support was helpful the one time I reached out, but you won't be getting instant replies, so it's just something that you guys should know going forward. Compared to other antivirus programs I've used, like Norton, which feels like it tries to do everything, and McAfee, which somehow makes everything slower, Total AV hits a sweet spot. It doesn't do everything, but nails the things that matter malware detection, web protection, and that VPN combo that actually works. You're not getting a firewall or parental controls, but for the price, especially in the first year, it feels like you're getting more than what you're actually paying for. So yeah, if you're tired of bloated software trying to be your digital nanny and just want something that protects you, runs quietly, and throws in a VPN that doesn't suck, Total AV is worth checking out. It won't magically solve every threat that there is, but it does a damn good job of covering the important stuff without making your laptop feel like it's stuck in 2008. If you guys are on the fence, use the link in the description, try the free version out, and check out the deals as well. If you ever change your mind, you can cancel it. Just make sure it's within 30 days if you're on the yearly plan or 14 days if you're doing month to month. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions for me, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And at any rate, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.